warning contains scenes that some viewers may find extremely upsetting. You have been warned. Once Human is a popcalyptic zombie-ish monster horror futuristic game. It's a really fun like ludo crafting game pretty much. And you go after like these monsters called deviants and they kind of like have special powers and uniqueness that will help you throughout the game to help you to fight more monsters and stuff like that. This game is really fun. I actually like, um, I don't usually like these types of games, especially with a free to play game like this one. But my friend mentioned it to me saying it's a horror game. I probably would like it. And so I downloaded it, jumped on with him. And it was so much fun, which is why you were here in another voice. Is that him? That's my friend. The only thing I do not like about this game, well, actually, it's two things I don't like about this game. Number one is this game is content logged, which means you have to wait for their seasons to gain access to the next content. The other one is the servers. The servers are really poorly optimized. It seems like they have sometimes random disconnections or random reconnecting or even high latency issues. Um, that was a really problem, especially in this video. You guys won't see it because luckily enough, I cut that out. But in the same exact um, recording that I did here, I actually was getting so reconnected. I like My eight times in total and it turns out that was actually the game apparently tons of people had complained about the servos always reconnecting and even being disconnected sometimes um, and it turns out that the yeah, servos were actually having a problem spawn. and the devs apologized for that they said they fixed it and they gave people you know stuff to compensate for the time lost playing I think that they should not, first of all, lock off content. It's something that it's a scummy thing to do, especially a in a free to play like, game and you want so people to talk about it. And here, if I can't I progress in the next story, then I'm not going to bother with playing your game. So, um, Silvers, again, like I said, I have the best internet possible that I can have where I'm stuff, living at, which so I went and I played good. other games and I don't have issues. This oh is, this game is just like Fortnite. After a while, it'll work and then it'll start randomly disconnecting for some stupid odd reason no idea why so other than that the game's really fun i gave it a like 6 out of 10 on the steam page i'm pretty sure my friend would probably give it a little more or less so he'll probably give it a 5 or a 4 but i'm not gonna ask him because he doesn't do game reviews like i do but i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and base hello Yeah, that's one of the main reasons why I moved out here is because there are so many bases and they were all like cramped together. And if you save up your, uh, basically they're like your blueprint points, you can actually buy an upgrade for your base to expand like how much you can put, like how large your base area is. Okay. I probably can't put it in water, I'm assuming. Oh my god, like fucking there's a base, there's a base. Oh, yeah, you are not kidding. Holy hell. It's base, 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 base. It's almost like the open wind like, you get a base, you get a base, you get a base. That's one of the reasons why I moved out to where I'm at, because there's like no bases around where I'm at. Okay. I think I saw one. <laughs> Nobody's probably that level yet. Ooh, what's this? Eh. Do you have any moment to talk about our Lord and Savior Arena? Wait, can people put like little posts and shit in the game? Yep. Ah, great. I'm going to download that. <laughs> and I think they share between worlds, too, because I've actually had it where people were like... Well, not people. Like, I've had messages appearing in my base when I was over in the beginner area. Uh, oh, my, oh, my God. This guy built his base right next to, like, a lot of fucking uh, gold or things. Holy hell. He's set. <laughs> Ooh. The broken down vehicle. Can I loot this? That's another thing. Where my base is located at, there's a lot of tin and copper. So, you can make bronze very easily and copper. Ooh, I entered somebody's territory. What the fuck? I'm 
we might not have ammo. He's running through it. Oh, fucking hell, another throw door. I still have those populations gathered, but now. Oh, wait, there's something worse over here. Ooh, hey, there's a house by here. Is this somebody's house? Claim this by any chance? No, you have to build your own house. Oh, it's already built though. That's dumb. There is a thing when you're like trying to build that says like blueprints. So I'm wondering if you can possibly get the blueprints for a house and then just collect up the materials and just build a house. I did see that, like, in the tutorial, in the, like, Steam video thingy. Like, they, someone did build an actual house, so. Well, okay, I'll build here then. I guess it's fine right here. I got, like, water source. Okay. Need a place to outdoor. So, blue means good, I'm assuming. Nice work. I've managed to unlock some memetics from Mitsuko. If you access them through your cradle. Grenade! Oh, and build build what we need. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, I'm going to have... Foundation Square. Copy the phone, demolish. Oh, press tab to open function. We will then select Crater to enter the mimetic screen. Okay. Oh. Okay, in here is the mimetic. So I clicked it. Oh, never. oh, ooh, it's like a skill thing, huh? Should be a time. Smoking essential. It details. Ooh, more acid. This is the number of cyphos, cyphos, right? Okay, I guess I can do it. Like punch over to a location to conform here. Obtained flame essence. That's cool. Uh, okay, so now I can't do any of these. Ooh, what's this one? Oh, I don't have. Oh, was I supposed to do that one too? Oh, I hope not. Open the magazine and unlock the missing dead main brand. Oh, I was. Shit. What's the easiest way to get those like little uh men is it meme points? Memic? What the hell? Oh the cipher points? Yeah, but they call it uh, leveling up. Oh so I just gotta kill and just get just level up. Okay. Kill, collect resources. Stuff oh. like that levels you up. Okay. Why is it called meme though? That is so stupid. Uh, there's also, if you hit J, it brings up, like, a journal thing. And there's a whole bunch of different things you can do there. Mm That's good, actually. 
did say this we did play a very low PC to play. LMG just does not do a lot of damage. Oh, somebody left a message next to me. Have fun. Oh, thank you. I like that. I just found an elite enemy and killed it. Ooh, nice. Journey complete. Obtain an eclipse cortex. Oh! Hmm. Free message. Did you want to think myself in the area getting boss? Oh, hello! Oh, God. Oh, telephone. That's a teleport. Okay, well, never mind. Let's see, like, I bike. <laughs> So if it has a trunk, you can. Oh, please tell me I can have a toilet plunger as a melee weapon. That won't do any damage, but that'd be fucking hilarious just killing a monster with it. Um, the biggest, the biggest thing for that is because uh, you can get a dissembler, and you can disassemble things for materials. Yeah, I fucked up and I didn't uh, do that, so that's why I need to level up to get a point. Ooh, my food and hunger is low, actually. Oh, dear god, that's not good. Go oh, ahead, didn't. Uh, level up. What fucking button is that for my food? Oh, this is. <laughs> Depends on what it's on the uh, quick bar for. I have never seen it where it actually uses that button. It's a little like it minus arrow dash thingy next to the zero. Ah. Uh, I've never seen actually a game use that before. This game is weird. So I'm assuming eight is, is food. Six. So wait, what's my one and three then? Oh, okay, so one's the... Okay. Hey, quick chopping down trees in my area, you bitch. So is there a way for me like, to see what my level, like how much level I'm getting is, or no? How much EXP? Oh, yeah, I can see how much e EXP I'm getting right now, but like, what's my overall? Like, how do I see that? Oh, your overall level? Um... Oh, I have a... I'm Oh no, F5 apparently is my mic. How do I look at that? F1 maybe? Ah, here we go. Global Stobo launch system. Okay, thank you for that. 
Oh, oh thanks again. Thank you for for choosing to play our game. Here's some free shit for you. That would have been kind of cool. So I'm assuming big old items give me bigger, bigger XP on this. Requires more advanced gathering to Oh, okay. I think if I to kill, that'd probably be more. Just want to saw a few deal around here. Where the fuck do they go? Need food anyway. You been to it? I wish my house is like showing up on the map, which is good. I don't know which direction I should go. I can't search any of this. Huh? Really, I can't search garbage. Dumps, that's dumb. Also, to explain, if you want to move your base, basically what you have to do is you go into your build menu and you hit Z and it'll bring up the outline of your entire base and then you just move it to wherever you want it. Uh. The ghost that the Yama, the trio boy, what the hell? Is this an actual player? Or did somebody get a bot that can mine for them? What the fuck? What's up? Feels like, it looks like a iron block that's mining a ore thingy here. Oh, I think I got one of those. Okay, so I, I was thinking like maybe it was a player hacking already. Cause it's it's do it's doing that at a light speed pace. That's why I think it's got that's gotta be a hacker, right? Now, uh the Digby boy. Skill rating one, activity one, deviation traits one. Works in the territory to gather ores or work at the mining operation platform. Okay, I was gonna say, uh wow, this thing what he has hackled. No, nope. um, I got mine just from mining stuff. Okay. I was mining a whole bunch of stuff, and then it just gave me, like, gave me them. I think I have, like, three of them or so. Okay. I just want to be sure, because, yeah. Yep, just one of those cool free things it gives you. Okay, that one didn't. What the fuck? Do they not see me? I'm in plain. I was playing view of this guy, and he didn't fucking like react. But I found shit to kill, so. Yay. I'm hearing a beeping sound. What is this? Bunker access door. Oh, I don't have a key card for that. Well.
fall point and Um, okay. There's just a mouth on the wall just spewing out poisonous stuff. Tip. Let me outside. I don't want to be outside. There's still things I need to do up there. Yeah, you will find, like, places that you can go where it'll give you, like, objectives for that actual area. And that's how I found my LMG and my sniper rifle. Oh. Like, it's like, look for a mystical crate. And then if you find the mystical crate, it gives you, like, really rare stuff. Oh, I guess for being a free game, I guess it has to be expected the XP. Oh God, I'm only getting two to three XP. New area to scout. Oh, did I jump? <laughs> and look at new area. And locks. So, have you like ever tried shooting at a player, see what would happen, or no? No. I'm hungry apparently. Wait, this guy built a base right near an enemy at both. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I figured you wouldn't be able to do that. Oh, I got hit. I am getting swarmed. Oh, what was? What is that? Well, I mean, I got I got eight XP for killing enemies, so rather than two of these, I'm getting like twelve EXP from level eleven enemies. Fuckle. But then again, my sniper rifle's killing these enemies with one shot, so. Yeah, I did kill an elite enemy. I didn't. I didn't see how much EXP he gave me, though. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. To let me know that you guys did enjoy it, please click that like button. It will let me know that you guys did. Also, comment down below what you guys want me to play or see next for a video. Till then, this is Game Moves Pony. Sign off.